The Antonov An-225, arguably the largest plane ever built. It was sadly destroyed on February of 2020 due to the Ukrainian war. This begs the question, will there ever be a second built? Before you understand that, you have to understand the history of this aircraft. The Antonov An-225 was an aircraft built and designed by the Soviet Union. This aircraft was designed specifically for transport. This transport aircraft was originally designed for the Soviet's new space shuttle that was to rival NASA's space shuttle built by the US. This transport aircraft was designed to transport the space shuttle that the Soviet Union had designed and built to and from the landing complex to the launch complex. This aircraft, though, would prove to be useless after the Soviet Union would fall and the space shuttle program designed by the Soviet Union would fall. After the Cold War and the fall of the Soviet Union, the An-225 was then bought by a company named Antonov, a Ukrainian-based airline. This cargo airline would then purpose the An-225 specifically for large cargo transport. This aircraft would go on to transport trains, buses, tanks, helicopters, you name it. As long as it was big, this aircraft would transport it. The exact length of this aircraft was 275 feet 7 inches. The max takeoff weight was 1,322,750 pounds, and the max payload was 551,150 pounds. This was astounding for an aircraft. The Antonov An-225 was also a very big part of getting big things to and from remote locations. Sadly, the good times with the AN-225 couldn't last. With the recent invasion of Ukraine by the Russians, the airfield that housed the AN-225 during the conflict sadly was destroyed, and with it, the AN-225 was destroyed. With the original AN-225 now destroyed, this begs the question, will there be a second AN-225 built? Well, to answer that, Zelensky has an answer for us. The thing is, he said that this aircraft was too big a part of Ukrainians' culture, so they will rebuild it once this conflict has resolved. The second AN-225 is actually sitting in a hangar, incomplete, currently. A second AN-225 will be built, and they will find as close to the original parts as possible. 